there, my name's Angela and I'm from The Sheep Tree. This is the second time today that I'm saying that. I filmed my first video but I then, I went inside for a break and I edited it and I realised it's probably a, a video in its own right. So I'm starting fresh for a second one for this. Um, I'm so sowing seeds. <laughs> uh, that, it happens a lot this time of year. Uh, I'm hiding in the greenhouse. It's, it's actually warming up. It was five and a half degrees centigrade when I uh, Celsius when I got in here. It is now ten point nine degrees, so it's it's warming up. The sun came out for a bit, and it's raining rather than snowing. Uh, so I've got a couple of boxes of seeds I grabbed from the house, and I'm going to start putting them in some soil. So beetroot spinach, peppermint chard, rhubarb chard and radish. I've multi-sown all of these so that means I've put multiple seeds in each module and they'll stay like that, they won't be pricked out, they'll be planted in the ground as a little clump of plants. So I've put about four in the beetroot, uh, same in the spinach, four. My chard I've only put three in because I'll start off harvesting small leaves and then I will move on to harvesting larger leaves for, cook, cook, for cooking with and the radish I've put about eight in a module so they'll grow in clumps of eight and I can just pick the biggest ones as they, they come ready for eating. So these will all go down with my other trays of, I've got some trays of onions and some lettuce leaf and I'll pop a, a cover on these not because they need the extra warmth but again because I'm just trying to so far touch wood I haven't had problems with pests, um, but I'm trying to stop mice from eating my seeds. At the minute, they don't seem to realise they're here, so they haven't come back in the greenhouse. So I'm just going to keep them covered, so if they do come in the greenhouse, they might not realise that there's seeds in. And next on the list are my field beans. I've not grown field beans before, don't normally bother with broad beans, but I thought I would give these ones a go. Um, Yep, so I'm going to shove them in the trays. I think I'm going to take my field beans uh, in the house to germinate because beans always get eaten by rodents. <laughs> in, my, in my garden, anyway. So I will, um, yeah, they, they don't, it's not that they need the warmth particularly, but I'll find somewhere that I can pop these in the house just until they're, they're germinated just through and then they can come, come back down here and they, they should be okay. Yeah, that was nice and quick. So I'm going to take these into the house and then I just need to fetch some firewood. <laughs> Didn't fetch it earlier because I was so wet and hungry that I said I would do it later. So I've left the wheelbarrow in the shed. I'm going to go fill that with wood and bring that across to the house and depending on how wet they are, my coat and trousers from earlier are also hanging in the shed to drip a bit before I bring them in the house so those will be going in as well um, and then I think that might be me done for outside for the day um, well it, it won't because I'll be down down here later because I think we're forecast below freezing temperatures so just to to give everything a bit of a help down here I do throw fleece over it if I remember uh, there's nothing frost tender in here but obviously it's better for them to be warmer rather than cold um, 
So I'll be down here before it gets dark, popping the fleece over the, the seedlings and I will go and check uh, that the sheep have stayed in their new fenced area, which is something I always do after moving them to a fresh patch is go down a couple of hours later and make sure that they're, they're still where I put them and I didn't leave any gaps or anything. Um, of course, I appreciate if you're watching this video. The video in which I moved the sheep was actually the previous video, but for me, it's the same day. I did that this morning. Uh, yeah, and then I've got a few, few indoor things to get on with, but I will say thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.